Okay, guys, tonight is the night we've all been waiting for, specifically me and Jen. Tonight is the night of The Bachelorette. Tonight is the night of the season premiere of The Bachelorette. I am literally so excited. I'll be watching with my mom tonight in New York. So I got that East Coast live feed. Thank God. I am heading back to California next week, by the way. And I'm very excited for The Bachelor to be back on. You guys know it is one of my favorite shows ever. And I will say that I kind of like The Bachelor better because I like to see all the girls. But there is something fun about The Bachelorette and that is the men. That's like if they're hot. And like, I know we saw a few of the photos and no one really did it for me that much. But like once the show starts, like, and we get to know the men, then like they become kind of hot. There's always like one or two that is like so hot. So so I'm kind of like watching for that. Jen did say in one of her interviews that she already knows which guy like in her final three or whatever could be the next Bachelor. So America's gonna fall in love with someone. But I also am just excited to meet Jen. I think it's so amazing that she's our first Asian Bachelorette and I'm so excited to learn about her culture. Jen seems really excited over social media. So the season sounds pretty promising. I will say that as someone who loves drama, I don't really like when a bunch of men like scream at each other on TV. Leave that to the women. So I hope that there's like some petty guy drama that's like fun to watch and not too like aggressive and volatile. But either way, I'm just like so ready for The Bachelor to be back on my TV screens. I'm ready to get on this journey to find love. I do think it will end in an engagement. And I really hope that this season is like fun that we can all watch together and talk about it here every week on my TikTok. Like we always do. Duh. So I'll see you guys tonight at commercial breaks during the show, 8 p.m. EST. Happy Bachelorette Day to all who celebrate. Get, Get ready, ready with, with us, us to watch, watch the, the premiere of The, the Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Okay, so we are so excited for Jen's season of The Bachelorette. It is tonight in about 15 minutes. Yes, and we're getting ready. We are getting ready. Okay, so mom, my first question is, if you were on The Bachelor, what would your limo entrance be? Oh, it would be so fun. What I would, would you do? To, the limo would come with blasting music and I would Ooh. pop out from the top sunroof and wave to everybody. Hey, mine would be kind of similar because remember Queen Victoria, she came in with like a crown and then four guys were holding her. So uh, I would do something like that and it would be like Queen Zachary. And I obviously would get the first impression rose. Yes. And you might go home night one. I don't think so. No, you'd make it far, okay. I'm gonna make it very At least far. for the drama. Okay, so what are we excited about for Jen? As I put my lipstick on carefully. Carefully. I hope she finds very nice man that truly, truly cares for her and that he's loyal, mm. honest, and he communicates. Okay, well, I'm really excited to learn about her culture. I love that there is an Asian bachelorette. I feel like it's long overdue. Mm -hmm. So I'm like really rooting for her and I just can't wait to learn more about her and see her in this position as the star that she has always been. Yes, it's gonna be very exciting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we will be recapping the episodes at commercials, giving our hot takes. Mm -hmm. I hope that there's some cute men on the show because that's what makes The Bachelorette so good. Good looking men and that I have a brain, have something to say. Only the best for Queen Jen. Correct. You know what they're saying online? They're being like, bring the Jennergy. The Jennergy, all right. It's a new generation. Oh, I like that. Can you think of another one? I cannot. <laughs> Come on, Jen. <laughs> so Jen's gonna give out roses tonight so we can practice. Oh. Why don't you give one out to me? Oh. Zachary, yeah. would you accept this rose? Of course! I've always wanted that rose! <laughs> Cheers, Jen! We'll see you at 8 p.m. Jen. Jen! Jen. <laughs> okay, yeah, can you turn it off? Do you know how? I okay, reacting to night one entrances of The Bachelorette with my mom. Now, you took notes. I did take <laughs> some notes. Okay, let's pull them up. All right, well, Grant was nice. Sam M was seemed fun. Thomas... The swimmer, no, no, thank you. Really? No, Brendan, he was eating a um, <clears throat> a hot pepper. Yeah, that I was kind of funny. I don't think it was funny. I think it was stupid. Okay, well, the guy came in on a stretcher. He said he was lovesick. Yes, and then he flashed his butt. That was maybe too much for the first night. It's kind I of like inappropriate. It was, it was. It really was. And then everybody had the shot o'clock. A few people like thought yes. it'd be funny because on Joey's season, she was like, shot o'clock when she was announced. That's right. But like, be original because like, you know, like that was her thing, you know? That's like, why they're trying to connect with her with their thing. It was thoughtful, but like, it's not so original. I thought it was original. Okay, who else did you like? Who else did you not like? Um, Austin, eh. 
What about the eyelash curler guy? I said no about the eyelash curler guy. And you don't like Marcus, the guy who came out of the limo first? Not really. No, no. He seems like such a great guy. He literally fought for our country. I know, and I respect that, and I thank him for that. Yeah. But uh, Ricky played a song. Yeah. Then the French guy spoke French, but I'm not sure how nice that is. The guy want, other guy wants to go skiing. I like that. That was fun, and uh, that's, that's... on the back. That was the flasher on the back. Okay, well, we still have a few more entrances. There's 25 guys tonight. I think we've met like 15 so far. Yes. And Jen's doing amazing. She might be a little tipsy from all the shots. Oh, that's true. Um, also, the guy who came in with the mask thing, because he's lovesick, show your face. Well, that show, was the one that, show, that also showed the butt, the too. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I'm like, show your face. He but will. He'll, he'll do the unveiling in okay, there. Okay, okay. Okay, let's talk about Jen's night one on The Bachelorette. So she looked absolutely beautiful. I thought she was very flirty, fun, and clear with her intentions and boundaries from the start. I am so excited that she was chosen for The Bachelorette and I cannot wait for her journey. Which started off with 25 guys and spoiler alert, seven guys went home. So we are already down to 18. And at the end of the episode, they share that they are going to Melbourne, Australia. So they are already traveling the country because night one did not start in the Bachelor Mansion. It started somewhere else. And they literally filmed all night long. We saw how bright it was outside by the end of the episode. Some of the limo entrances included a guy who had like a bandage on because he was trying to play into the fact that Jen works in PA. He ended up taking it off and he was kind of cute. But my favorite limo entrance was Hakeem. He came in with all these balloons. There was a little bit of drama on night one when Brian tried to steal Jeremy's car. Like, it was literally Jeremy's car, and then Brian found the keys and was like, can I steal you for a second? It was just so uncomfortable. One guy did some rapping, but Sam M was the guy who got the first impression rose, and I was here for it, even though he kind of looks like a villain in the teaser. One guy, Thomas A, brought in some cute puppies, and one guy played truth or dare and had to streak around the house, like, in his underwear, or maybe he was naked. Overall, the episode was so much fun. I do not know everyone's name yet, but I'm so excited to watch Jen's journey. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. So on night one of The Bachelorette, Jonathan showed up with like bandages and like a medical dress thing because Jen is studying to be a PA. So he was trying to be relatable and thoughtful, but it was kind of creepy that he didn't show his face, but his whole butt was out and then it was covered with like a rose. They were not doing the black box. They were doing a rose this time, even though I would have liked to see it. But the whole night, everyone's like, what do you look like? And they're waiting for him to take it off, but he's not going to until he sees Jen. So he has to keep this on for like multiple hours. Some people were like, oh my God, like, is he a celebrity? I kind of like the suspense of it, but it only really works if he's like really handsome underneath, you know? So it's like worth the wait. I'm so let's see Sorry. what he looks it's like. It's kind of like unwrapping a birthday present right now. I'm dying to know. Who is this man under here? Who is he? Who is he? Let's see if he's hot. Oh <laughs> well. Oh no, not a commercial. Okay, Jonathan here we go. Jonathan. Very, very hot. And he's Jen likes him. Hot. <laughs> okay. I mean, as long as she likes him. He seems handsome. Yeah, huge statement, which I More handsome than some of the other guys. So, basically, yeah, I'm going to put myself out there, and I'm finally going to be myself. That feels so good. Hey. <laughs> there it is. It is so free to have these gauze off of my face now. No, I can't imagine. Why is he so Okay, now let's nice see the it. butt reveal. Okay, so these are the seven guys who went home on night one of The Bachelorette. We started with 25. She sent home seven. We're now down to 18, spoilers included. So first she sent home Brendan. He was a real estate broker from Vancouver. She also sent home Brett, who was a huge fan favorite online. So a lot of people are disappointed about this. A la Addie's comment. She sent home Dakota, who had the blonde buzz cut from Arizona. Sommelier, that means um, he works with wine. Remember, I didn't know that last time. She also sent home Kevin, who I am so upset about because he was literally like one of my favorites just from the pictures. I thought he was handsome. Then she sent home Matt, which I'm okay with because his beard is freaking me out. She sent home Mose, who was an algebra teacher. And she sent home Ricky, a pharmaceutical representative from Miami, which is where Jen lives. I cannot believe she sent home seven guys so soon. We're literally 
already getting down to the wire. Is there anyone you guys were sad to go? Let me know in the comments. I'm heading to the airport right now. I'm going to Charleston. So even though last night was the premiere of The Bachelorette, we now have a first look at The Golden Bachelorette. So Joan, who was on Gary's season, she is our first Golden Bachelorette, and this is a look at her night one, which was already filmed at The Bachelor Mansion. Now the posting time is kind of interesting because Jen's season, which was last night, was not filmed at The Bachelor Mansion. And some fans were kind of upset about it. There was some mixed reviews saying that they missed the OG Bachelor Mansion. Some people said it was a fresh change of Jennergy. Reality Steve did spoil one of the guys that's gonna be on Jones' season. Apparently his name is Charles. He's 60, works in insurance services. Reality Steve posted these pictures on his Twitter of him on a one-on-one -on -one date with Joan. I've also been wondering if Mark, Kelsey A's dad, ever went to film The Golden Bachelor. Do we have any confirmation on that? Because he's been private on Instagram for a while, so I feel like he might be there filming with Joan. Like, is he gonna get roses? Because if Mark is on it and makes it to hometowns, like, I am manifesting Joey and Kelsey being there on a hometown date. They have literally been living their best life post-Bachelor, traveling the world. Do we think they're gonna make it? Like, obviously, right? I mean, they just got engaged. I know there's no talks of a wedding yet, but what do we think? Also, oh my God, Joan's dress. She looks so beautiful. I'm really glad that they picked her for Golden Bachelorette. Okay, a lot of people are obviously outraged that Brett went home on night one and everyone's asking, is there gonna be a Bachelor in Paradise this year? Joan's season is filming now is gonna air in the fall. And then there will probably be another Bachelor next year. And I definitely think they'll bring back Paradise next summer. They're just taking a year off from Paradise for sure. And I think that Brett would be perfect to be on it next season. There are a few guys from Jen's season that I think a lot of people are already saying Paradise for, but I kind of feel like it's too soon to tell. And we also don't know like who's going how far. I do think Kevin, who was eliminated last night, I would want to see him on Paradise. And I think that Sam M, he got the first impression rose, but like is not gonna win because he's like villain vibes. He'll be good on Paradise next year too. As far as Joey's girls, I obviously want to see Maria, who did just post an Instagram story saying, proud of you, Jen, can't wait to see more. Maria did unfollow Jen on Instagram after the Call Her Daddy interview, but I think she was still watching last night. And I wonder like what terms they're on because Jen never unfollowed Maria. Um, I also want to see Lexi in Bachelor in Paradise. I'm obsessed with her. I want to see Rachel in Bachelor in Paradise and Leia. I want Sydney to get another chance. I don't know if she will make the most of it or squander it, but I do want to see her in Paradise. Definitely Jess. Kelsey T. And I don't know if Daisy would do it, but if she did, oh my God, she would slay Paradise. 